Okay, I want to talk about Cordova and creating custom icons for your Cordova projects. This is something you'll do on almost every project that you build with Cordova. You build an app, you want to have a custom launcher icon. All right, I have here a markdown file where I've listed out, and I'm going to put a code gist of this for you as well. The link will be in the comments. These are the different density names you've got. So MDPI, HDPI, this is medium, high, extra high, extra, extra high, extra, extra, extra high density um, pixels. So 160 DPI, this is what's considered. If you have a phone that has 160 dots per inch, so virtual pixels per inch, if the screen is capable of rendering 160, it's considered to be a medium density. If it's 240 it can support, then it's high, 320 is extra high, and so on. So the denser the pixels on the screen, the more resolution your screen has in your phone or your tablet, then the higher resolution. When you're building an application, you're going to need to create icons to support all these different densities. And here's the reference for what sizes we want to create them. Now, if you only create one icon, let's say I only made a 96 pixel by 96 pixel icon, I could just save that, put that in my project, and when the project is compiled, that 96 pixel one will be used, but it's going to be stretched, and you will probably end up with something that's looking a little jagged or pixelated. It's better if you can build icons to target all the different resolutions. Oh, and that should be 192, not 912 at the bottom there. So I'll just fix that. There we go. Okay, now I have made three icons here. I made a 72 pixel, a 96, and a 144, just to show I've got different sizes. I'm just trying to save time here a little bit. Um, so you're gonna have a copy of this file to use as reference for the sizes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new Cordova project in this folder here. I'm just going to call it Icons. So we do our typical Cordova create command, project called Icons, and uh, let's say example Griffiths.icons, and then my project name. There we go. So this is the folder name that's being created, just appeared over here. This is the name that will appear. If I install this app, this is the name that would be there, and this is my package ID. All right, so I have now created a project inside of here. Inside platforms, we don't have anything. Inside resources, there's two folders here, one called icon, one called screen. Icon has a list of all the different possible platforms. And inside of here, here's the default icons. These are the ones that Cordova gives you. So Cordova is giving you this example icon, just so you have one. What's gonna happen is when you build your project, these will get copied from here into the platforms folders for Android, for iOS, and so on. All right, now, I don't wanna use these ones. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go into my folder and just copy these icons over into my Android one. I'm going to delete the ones that are inside of there. Okay, there we go. I've copied my icons over inside the icon folder. Android, there we are. There's the three. Now, I should have an MDPI and an XXXHDP, uh, XXX HDPI one as well, but just to save time, I'm going to go with these three. So the full the icons have been copied over. There we are. Android has been updated. Now I need to have my platform. So we have to add Android to our project. So Cordova platform add Android. There we go. Oh, of course I need to go into my project folder. There we are. Run that. So it's grabbing the latest version of Cordova for Android, uh, six, version 6.3, and that will, inside my platforms folder here, it will create the necessary files. There we go. You can see there's Android has appeared. Inside plugins, I'm going to get this whitelist one will have been added as well. 
So there's the Cordova whitelist plugin and our JSON files to define that. Inside of Android, I'm going to go over to Finder here. This is make it easier to see this. Inside platforms, inside Android, a whole bunch of stuff was just added. What we're looking at right now is the icons. So this resource folder, here we have the drawable folders right here. These are the splash screens and these mip map folders, these are the different icons. So let's just uh, go to XHDPI. There's a file in here called icon and it is the default one. So that's what you get by default. Cordova will put that inside of there when it adds Android to this. Now we want to replace what's inside of all these folders. We can come in here, we can delete these PNGs if we want, but don't delete the folders. If you delete the folders, then you're going to get errors whenever you try to compile your project. It'll say, hey, I can't find the icon folder, so I'm not going to do anything. So make sure you don't delete these folders. If you want, you can delete the icons inside here, but we don't have to. All right, so we have the icons created. They're copied into this folder. We have the Android platform added. We have our config file and our package.json file. So if I open up those, you can see package.json and config.xml. These are both files that talk about the settings for your project. Now, general high-level settings, you can set in either one. And if they're set in both places, if they're different, the package.json will be the one that wins out. That'll be the one that gets checked finally and it will overwrite whatever's in config.xml. But for adding icons, we need to come into the platform section for Android and we have to say, hey, Cordova, this is where I've got my icons. I want you to copy them into the project whenever you build. So inside of platform name Android, we're going to create an icon and there's going to be a source and there's going to be a density. And we can set just one icon if we want or we can add icons for multiple densities. Now I had created down here an HDPI, XHDPI and XXHDPI, those three. So those will be the ones that I, I'm going to use here. And they are located in the root of my project inside of resources. I have a folder called icon. Inside of that, there's a folder called Android. And inside that will be all these different icon files. So I'm just going to copy that three times. There we are. 72.png. And this one is 96.png. And this one is 144.png. Those are the file names down here. And then we'll update this to be extra and extra extra. Okay, there. Right. Now we have this, we'll save this file. Inside of the platform, we have the three icons pointing to these. These are the icons that I built for my project. I put them inside of here. The config.xml file is pointing to these. So when I build my project, these will be copied into the appropriate folders based on what I'm saying here. Are going to be copied into the appropriate folders inside of Android. So let's go back to our command line and we'll say Cordova build Android. That will run the build process. Oh, yeah, it doesn't like this icon 72. Oh, I missed the HDPI on the end of here. XXHDPI. Save that. Come back. Try this again. This will take a second. Oh, misspelled it. I'm sure you guys spotted that as I was typing. One more time. There we go. Third time's the charm. All right, so this is going to build the project and it's going to copy those over. Build successful. Fantastic. All right. Now, inside of Android, now let's go back to Finder because it'll be easier to see them there. Inside of our Android folder, we have resources. And inside here, here's our HDPI. And there it is. That's the new icon. XHDPI, yep. XX, yep. What's inside here? Nothing. 
What's inside here? Nothing, nothing. Okay, so the ones that we didn't build weren't copied in, but Android is smart enough to know that if you've got a phone that has medium density or low density or the XXX HDPI density, it will look for the best match for the sizes for the phone that it's being rendered on. Okay, and that's it. That's everything there is to know about creating icons and putting them into your Cordova project as custom launcher icons. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.